I would show you how our table actually folds down and makes it into a little couch area or maybe a small bed. And I'm going to show you what we did and uh, what we used to do that. So the first thing we got to do is remove the cushions so we can get the table to fold down. I'm going to show you how that folds down. Okay, I pulled the cushions off and a few of them just back so this way we got a lot of clearance to get the tabletop to lay down along the lip edges that I put in front of the seats. Now I'll show you how the table comes loose from the wall and goes down. The table actually has these two brackets mounted to the wall. They're pivoting brackets. What it does is when you lift the table up, it actually comes unhinged and allows you to lower the table down. But before we do that, I want to show you what's underneath the table. Underneath the table, we have a bracket that goes from here down to the wall. I have mounted a piece of board here for the table leg to sit on. And what I do is, you just push this button in, slide your leg up, and it locks in place. Now that we got the table unlocked, I will show you how to lower it down. You just simply lift this up, and it will come loose from the wall. Give it a little shake there. It slides out, but you see it's on a set of hinges here. And it just comes right down and lays on the brackets I made for it. These are the wooden strap brackets I made so the table can come down and lay on it make a flush with the seating arrangement. I have them on both sides. These brackets here and this hinge system is all one kit that you can buy from any RV place or off of Amazon to create your table that will fold down. Now we'll just put the cushions in place and I'll show you how it looks. And there we go. It makes it into a nice little place to rest. It can be used as a couch or some of the pillows can be removed and used as another bed. But it's a simple way of doing it. I just wanted to share with you guys. And it folds up the same way really quick. I'm going to fold it back up and show you one more thing I did. What I wanted to show you is this leg just sits on that piece of board. So if you were to sit here and accidentally knock the table up, it might dismount the board. So to fix that problem, I use a bungee. I got a little hook right there, and I bring it around to the front of the piece, and it forces pressure down the leg. Now the table can't move. Just a little security. Tired of mentioning that to you. This is my little dog. She doesn't like the camera. I'm surprised she's even looking at it, but normally she'll go and hide. Her name's Bambi. She's just a little one. But she's shy, very shy dog. Okay, I'll leave you alone. Get back to doing what she's doing. She likes to hide up on the bed. The little dog's just curious, what am I doing to that table? She normally doesn't like to be on camera. She'll turn her head away from you. Bambi! There you go. She's a little sweetheart. Okay, I'll leave you alone. Bambi, are you hiding? Look at the camera. Good girl. Oh, you want to show me your belly, huh? All right. Let's reach down and pet that belly. She loves to have her belly rubbed. She's a cute little dog. Part of our family.